right. So we are on uh, the Upper West Side, 72nd Street in Dynastias. My wife was craving it today, so she said, let's get some crackling chicken. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> As uh, native New Yorkers, we're happy to support family business. So we love coming here whenever we get the chance, right? Tell me, tell me where you were born and raised and where your family is from. I was born and raised in Queens. My dad is from China. Don't ask me what part of China. I'm not, I'm not good at that part, but. When he came from Peru, it was kind of just natural for him to work in a Chinese Latino restaurant since he spoke all three languages, right? It was like a Cuban restaurant. He sold it to my dad in 86, opened it in 86. He always encouraged me to stay away from the business. He always wanted me to do something else, but I mean, that, that's, that's just the nature of being like a parent, you don't want your kids to, to do this kind of work, but I was always around it, I was always in it, so I always knew that eventually it was gonna be my time to come. Because not too many people know about this uh, cuisine, right? Chino Latino, not, not too many people that really never even heard of us. You're really putting the best of two worlds on a dish, on a plate. Uh, I mean, like I said, I grew up on this, so this is, this is part of New York City to me. Almost every corner on Broadway, it was a Chino Latino restaurant. 1% of the block is the same, I would say. Everything else is different or corporate. Us and Tip Top and Grays, there's Grays. If I stepped outside, I could probably name one more. There's always gonna be a change, but it's like each and every one of us is trying to stay here for like their dear life and just trying to hold on. I've been in here with Mike for a little over eight years now. He's like a, he's like a second father to me. He knows everything. You ask him what he doesn't know. Who started wearing sunglasses in here first, you or Mike? <laughs> it had to be Mike, not me. My name is Michael Land. I'm in my restaurant. It's a demon. And I uh, rip in the heart out. My family is a Chinese person. My mom and dad are Chinese person. I'm a in the middle of the My Chinese is not the best, best one. Oh, really? <laughs> Basically, in the beginning, I started as a waiter um, in 1990. Chino peruano, chino venezolano, toda esa gente son gente que quería venir a tener la vida mejor de Estados Unidos. Pero los primeros son chino cubano. And they brought in ropa vieja, shredded beef, they brought in arroz moro. Y ellos empezaron on the Upper West Side porque la renta was más barata. Pero eso es lo que primero abrió la puerta para todo otro asiático. Our Rafael uh, is from there too. He came when he was a kid at Santo Domingo. I have almost 30 years of working here. I'm one of the oldest and one with the mic. It takes me three years to work here. And what are you doing here? I'm working here, attending the table, making coffee, doing everything. Richie, me, Ralph, the pinhead together for all these years. They're one who bring up the best of the customer. Mike taught me everything. How to cut the bread, how to serve the people, how to hold plates. It's the three things you look at, the table, the eyes, and um, refill the water. You look at the table if you need to bust any of the plates out, and you look at their eyes because if the customer's making eye contact, then that means they want something from you, right? Bring my color value to make sure the customer has been taking care of it, enjoy their food. Uh, comfort food for most of them, a lot of my regular to the year I have been here 30 years. Almost everyone that comes in here is a regular, so, yeah. You were saying it's like an old school style? Yeah, it has like a, a old school family feel to it. It's like a, a neighborhood staple. The crackling chicken is the best. That's what makes everyone come back here more and more. <laughs> oh, see, it's more popular here in the chicharrón de pollo. Claro que sí, los chicharrones, pero eso es lo único que tenés en la dinastía. I, if I were a billionaire, I'd still come here for, for dinner and have the same day. The house special, fried rice, that any day goes, you know, well. La chuleta, lo yuca, yuca frita. All right, thank you. Thanks.
I guess it all depends on my landlord, right? How much he wants to raise the rent. But come like a year and a half from now, we'd have to like obviously talk with him, see how he feels about us. La gente han subido mucho, la gente no aguanta el negocio y que ya no están quedando nada. Aquí ya es la dinastía, es casi la, la última. The last 15, 20 years, I lost so many restaurants have gone. No quiero perder la cultura esta del restaurante chino latino. Uh, it should always stay so that's that's a purpose of mine and to just try to keep it here Richard is my my socio y él es um, la generación de ellos más de 20 años de diferencia queremos quedar con un restaurante Keep it. Ojalá que en el futuro que tenga más. I like to think of it. I I like to build from here. If if these new new customers and new faces are coming in, I'm trying to keep them here. So uh, it means more to me doing this rather than anything else. And what what has this restaurant sort of provided for you and your family? Everything. The food on the table, the clothes on my back, the little education that I've had. Um, CUNY. Uh, everything, everything. Talent is over there. Any, any of you guys want to try this? No, probably. You want to try some? Let me get another cup. So delicious, I'm getting it all over myself. You haven't eaten here, right, Brian? No, I've, I've never had Chino Latino, so I'm like, super excited.